Yesterday, it was the New Zealand national champion, Ali Wollaston, who stormed to victory. Stage two of the Tour Down Under got underway from stunning Glen Elg. Leading the queen of the mountains classification, 26-year-old Italian from human-powered health, Katia Ragusa was a driving force and on the attack, picking up maximum points at the first queen of the mountain. An acceleration in the peloton, Team Bridge Lanes, Gina Ricardo made her move. The intermediate sprint at Meadows was hotly contested, Vlodicek narrowly taking it ahead of Roseman Gannon and Brown. The second intermediate sprint, it was the Polish bullet again who won three more points ahead of Roseman Gannon, Williams taking third. Ragusa pushed on over the Queen of the Mountain at Sterling. She takes another seven points, her tally now 27. Utrub Ludwig taking the five, with Chapman and Bertizzolo taking the remaining points. On home soil, Emily Watts laid down the power, launching herself out of the peloton with 13 kilometers to go. But she was soon tracked down by Francisca Koch of Team DSM Firminic post NL. All back together, albeit a reduced group. Canyon Shram leading out Soraya Paladin for the win. But it was the FDG Suez star Cecilia Chubludvig who made the first move, using the lead out taking a convincing win for the Dane and it's win number one of the season for the French outfit. Uh, I mean, Australia is my second home. That's where my boyfriend is from. And yeah, so uh, oh, it just feels good. It just feels so good. Um, yeah, first race of the season and coming here with, as a of the defending champion and like we had a lot to prove and we um, yeah, coming here with a strong squad so um, yeah that feels good. Today was another great day I take uh, the plenty point that I could take so it was uh, an amazing job also from my teammates so that uh, they helped me a lot to keep this point uh, positioning me before the QM. Uh, yeah then uh, for sure I was not expecting this feeling in this first race of the year because for me it was uh, okay, I go there to the Australian races for take a race rhythm and for training. So yeah, it was amazing to come here and have this feeling. I think there will be a few surprises actually. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna be a very hard race. And I think they'll, especially also with the wind, I think at the coast, yeah. Yeah. If it's like windy like today or harder, I think it'll be uh, hard before the climb. So, but a different kind of effort at yeah. the when in the crosswinds. So, um, it's gonna be hard.